dual projector retrofit. Understood by few, but envied by many. By blending today's technology of LEDs and solenoids that are kind of outdated actually, we have here a set of high and low beam LED projectors. That sounded pretty dumb. <laughs> I've been really looking forward to this for a long time because I get to represent my buddy's company and I get to see my logo on a set of projectors and the same dude sent me Bang. God, this guy's too good. Ooh boy, yes. Check this out. I'm so excited about that. Wow. Dang, <laughs> that is sick. My new Buy LED projector. Oh yeah, looking good. Oh, look at that coating, the blue. Cool little crazy coating. So good. I'll just turn them on right now. Check this out. Look at those monsters. That is so sick. Yes, yes. I finally get to have cool lights. I've never had cool lights in my whole life. Just so you know, it's not what I do. I don't make myself stuff. Quite a long time ago, I took these Mazda lights apart and I removed this high beam section from the inside because I was gonna modify them and put in a cool bi-xenon projector. Instead, I'm putting in a bi-LED projector like the ones I talked about when we did the cappuccino. If you look at this inside headlight reflector, wow, this has where the original bulb used to mount up. Now, because I'm gonna put this projector in there and I'm gonna use the base of it with a threaded shaft, that has to go through that hole. On most high beams, you're not gonna be able to get away with just dropping a projector in there. Almost every single time you have to open that thing up. So that's what I'm gonna do. And let's see if I will have any luck mounting this thing in without opening up the hole. Then no. So you can see, this is the most common thing you'll see. If it's got any sort of a, a regular bulb in the back of a high beam reflector, very slim chance that it's just gonna fit right through. I'm going to take this beautiful little drill from Milwaukee and put a hole through this. And this stuff is gross. It's like ceramic, but it just smells like disease. I don't know. All I did was just put the little Christmas tree through it. Let's uh, wipe it out a little bit before I blast it with air. All right, cool. Now that that's going all the way through, I have to fish this little dude over the wires and I will have a secondary low beam and a secondary high beam because I already put the other one in. Now the one thing that sucks, I thought I was gonna get off easy. A lot of times what happens is the little tabs on the back get in the way. It's really soft, I hate this stuff. Ceramic material, whatever it is, I hate it. I don't trust it, gotta be poisonous. Smells bad, it smells like death. Hey. Not bad. Now I can't tell how aligned it is. But what I can do is test fit it. So since this projector is higher up, it's going to have its line as like the primary, the predominant one. This one will tuck right underneath that as the secondary low beam line. So all I need to do is put the bulb back in here, tighten it up and we'll turn them on and check it out. So we've got both LED projectors on, or actually both LEDs on. This is a bulb with a little fan behind it. And this is a monster. So, oh yeah. Wait till I show you what I'm looking at. I'll record it with this. If we're looking at this, what you can see is that one beam is crazy bright and the other one's just crazy not bright. So that, that very dim, almost like greenish looking, just not good this is the regular projector and then boom that guy is hardcore be honest was this too much i like to go hardcore nerd on my online courses specifically the one that i'm pumping all of this information into the projector retrofit course so i ask if it's too much because it's super nerd stuff it only belongs in the online courses it's not super exciting for things like YouTube, but I do want to share with you because it's about my car, it's about my Mazda, and we're gonna do a bunch of other cool stuff. I've got some brakes that just came in that I'm dying to open up and film from R1 Concepts, the Raceland coilovers going on, some new wheels from Koenig will be here soon, and we've got these projectors that I gotta finish getting in the car for my first build ever. So I'm pumped about it. If you wanna join the journey as I actually do a cool project for me, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon, and then you won't miss all those cool uploads. And let's go back to the retrofit and let me know if you think it's boring. So now what you typically would do is loosen up the back of this projector that it gives you at least enough wiggle room so that you can tuck that line in 
a little bit closer to that top one. Maybe not like right, right up on top of it, but that's not bad right there. It's kind of just tucked in. And the problem is when you have all these different cutoff lines, it can get a little bit messy in there. So the predominant one, it helps if it's nice and crispy bright, like it will be from the bi LED projector that's in the car now. So we got to take a look at what these guys look like on. We've got the factory projector and then the new bi LED projector. And we've got that same bi LED projector right here in this little high beam cup. And then we've also got the brand new monster. So this is what I was sent from Sinister Retro Works. It's got that really cool blue finish on the lens itself. If you can see that in the little reflections. And then it's got the etching obviously, which looks amazing. And then the other cool thing is this bracket. So this bracket will perfectly bolt up to those two. We're just gonna transfer everything over and it's gonna be awesome. And I will love it. And you will too, maybe, I hope so. I did previously shave down the back side of this. Now I'm gonna have to do the same thing on the other side because it's gonna allow me to get that up and down adjustment that we saw, which was a little bit out of whack on the other one. I know that this high beam side sits farther forward. And so the way that we are going to mount this guy on is from the front sliding to the back. So I'm gonna start with these bottom bolts. I do want to keep the hardware loose a little bit so that as I tighten it, I make sure that it's completely sitting flat and it's not leaning up or down or anything because this is going to be pretty crucial how hardcore bright these things are. I don't want them aiming the wrong way. But one really, really cool thing is just if you, if you can see through those holes, the pitch is automatically adjusted just by putting this, this bolt into place. Just that in itself is such a huge come up. Such a fat time saver. Get these lock nuts on and we are off to the races. Actually, the races are about to start. Formula D Pro 2 is on today and I am about to finish filming and watch it. Dang, it like locked perfectly into place. That's so dope. These brackets are no joke. They are seriously hardcore. Ready to test them. Oh, that guy is super crooked. Let's turn these bad boys on. One other thing I did on the other side was I routed the wires. I don't want these things getting ripped on ever. So I'm running them straight through those little screw holes. So that way it's nice and secure and it will last forever. All right, so we've got the factory projector Sticking that little line, not super bright, but then we've got two low beam projectors in here and they are stacking up double. So let me drop this down so you can see both lines. Got the top cut off line right there, bottom one right beneath it and doubled up. They are clearly <laughs> much, much brighter than the stock one. Looks like I've got definitely these guys aiming a bit too low. I'm gonna drive down the street and then we'll come back and adjust. So what we want to do is see that car right in front. We want to be able to look and see that bumper. So if I look in here, this dude right there is actually aiming. It's just located too high. It's just all angled up and this one's not. So I'm gonna have to actually put some washers and some spacers to angle this thing upward more. And then I'll adjust that to match that afterward. For now at least though, look at this. That's not in front of the light. That's in front of the passenger light. <laughs> and then this is in front of the driver's light. Like you almost don't even notice that I'm in front of the driver's light but everything kind of goes dark when I'm in front of this one. That looks pretty dope right there. All right, let's go for a drive. Yeah, dude. All right. So this is actually way better. I had it adjusted where the secondary projectors were just way far down. And this is just gobs and gobs better. <laughs> Look how out of whack it is though. Everything is just bright on the right side of the car, not the left. It's so crazy. All right. 
well. I'm happy. That's a pretty freaking bright single headlight. So that's gonna be twice as bright as it is right now once I get the other side done. And those guys look like they're having a little conversation. Okay. We have seen how it looks. High beam, low beam, high beam, low beam. Not bad. <laughs> that's a little bit of a hot spot, huh? Perfect.